Uh, welcome to the science corner. No, 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 no. Uh, welcome to Wacky Tacky Science. Wacky Tacky Mad Science. I'm Dr. Science Wacky Mad Yaknarf, but don't call me that because that's my dad's name. Well, really, he just goes by Mr. Yaknarf because he doesn't have a medical degree. I don't either, but uh, I'm still a doctor in other things. Like, not doctor things. Anyways, don't call me that. My real name is not Peter, but you can call me Peter because I don't like my real name. Okay, I'll tell you my, my real name's Anthony. And just like, why would you name a child? Anyways, if your name's Anthony, you're a beautiful person. And we got that in common. All right. Oh, sorry. I forgot to introduce my assistant. This is Beggy. Beggy's going to be helping me out today and in a couple other days. And we're going to be doing some cool science experiments with you guys. Are you guys ready? Are you guys excited? Yeah! <laughs> All right. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Beggy, take it away. Beggy, take it away. You're... You're embarrassing me in front of the students. This is, we're trying to do science here. We practice. Okay, okay, whatever. We're gonna be putting on our gloves first. Beggy seems to be a little shy. So we got the right glove. We, this is the correct glove, which is also the right one. We're gonna be putting this one on. Now it's a little hard when your hands are wet. But it's okay. It's okay. Now, I had another glove, because you want two. Oh, there it is. It's on top of my hammer. Should have known that. Okay, let's put this one on. My Aunt Louisa always told me that the left glove is always the hardest one, because when you put it on, the right one's always on. Okay, and we're gonna put some glasses on. You guys ready for this? You guys ever seen CSI Miami? Wow! And that's for the parents. Okay, so what do we got today, Baggy? Still shy. Okay, I get it. I get it. Today we're going to be doing some volcanoes. Now volcanoes happen to be my favorite thing filled with magma. Can you guys, do you guys know anything else filled with magma? Me either. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. That's just what we call in the science community a joke. Okay, so what do we got today, Baggy? Baggy has all these great things in him, and watch what we can do. Just shoom, and put them over here. Fine, I'll put you back. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain what we have. We got a bottle. You were supposed to empty the bottle. You gonna make me drink this whole thing? Ah. Uh, I don't know what to do. Ah, I'll just pour it out. We got that poured out. The floor is a little wet. In the science community, we call that slick. Okay, now let's... You gotta make sure the microphone's good, or, or else you can't hear... Hello? Okay. Okay, now we got the empty, empty bottle. Oh, we dropped the microphone again. Let's put this back. Okay, we put it in a little pocket, and then you can't even see. But you guys didn't even know I was wearing a microphone. What else have we got is vinegar. Don't drink this stuff; it hurts. <laughs> Baking soda. You might have seen this in your mom's closet. Now it says that it has expiration date, but you can keep it basically forever. Also, we got some great colors. We got this color, which is blue, and we got this color, which is yellow, just like my gloves. Now, fun fact, colors are amazing. What we're gonna be doing today is, uh, you know what I actually forgot? My dish soap. Where is that dish soap? Here it is. Baggy should have got that for me, but he didn't, as usual. Sorry, we shouldn't fight in front of the kids. Okay. So we got the food coloring, we got the white vinegar, not malt, malt's better on fries though, am I right? And we got the, uh, the palm olive because this way it's softer on your hands. Now I should also mention that I'm going to need some water for this 
and I shouldn't have poured it all out. Well, that's a good thing because I was actually doing an illusion and I kept all the water. It's a little wet, but we're going to keep that. I'm actually going to put the water over here. I'm afraid that I'm going to spill it. I'm not great with water. Okay. Not like my grandma, but we're going to get to that later. Okay. What we're going to need is we're going to, we're going to put everything into here, but we have to do it in a specific order or else. Okay. So just make sure that you're doing this in a good area that, see, I have a little tub, so I put the bottle in the tub. That way, if it spills over, it's just going to go in the tub. It's called containment. But you can also do this outside if you don't have a nice tub like mine. What we're going to do is we're going to put the things in here first. Okay, so first we're going to start with some water. I shouldn't have, so we're just going to pour this right in. Now, do you guys think I do with my eyes closed? Yeah? Okay, I'll try. Oh, it went in. No, it didn't. Sorry, guys. We'll pour some water in there. Just a little bit. Not too much. Make sure it's good. Give that old sniff test. We don't want old water now, do we? Okay. Next thing that we're going to be putting in, we're going to put some little uh, dish soap. Think I can do this? My no. We already did that. We're going to do it from a high height because that's more thematic. That seems like enough. Now... Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put some of the color in. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more water in. I'm just not feeling confident about the amount of water that we put in. So let's just put some more in. A little bit for me. Ooh, that's good water. A little bit for you. Okay, let's get scooting on this thing, guys. All right, now what I have is I have food color. I have blue, I have yellow. Now, do you guys know what color blue and yellow makes when you mix it together? Me either. That's why I, ha I have my special colorblind glasses with me. With these glasses, I can see what color they're going to be. Now, this is something I've lived with my entire life, and I didn't know how to see colors properly until I was an old man. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to give this a little nice shake. All right, now, we got it soapy. We got it sudsy. We're going to be adding the vinegar. Not the fish and chips, just the vinegar. We're going to put this in. We're going to load that up. Okay, so we're just going to take the baking soda, the last thing that we have left to do, and we're going to put it into the bottle. Now, remember, be safe. If you're not wearing your gloves and your glasses, you might get sprayed in the face with vinegar. All right, here we go. Let's start the countdown clock. Baggy, take us away. Let's do this. You just pour a bunch of baking soda in there. We're going to give this another shake. Volcano, guys. We did it. Now, if you're doing this at home, maybe put a bit more food coloring in. Oh, sorry, Baggy. Maybe put a bit, bit more food coloring in so you get a nice flavor. Okay, flavor color. Guys, this has been a blast. I hope I see you later this week. All right, we'll see ya. I gotta clean all this mess up. Mom?